Like this is honestly almost like a like a something for a, a decoration inside your house, not for actually on a vehicle. It's, it's so big and massive. I think they make them up to like 12 inches. Some brands do that, but yep, they're well done and they're very expensive, by the way. I got this obviously with the kit, so it's basically a steel, basically. And honestly, welds look pretty good on the inside of there, if you can see that. So this is crazy. So what I wanted to show you guys today is what does this sound like on a V8 gas truck? Because you guys have heard and seen eight inch tips on diesel trucks all the time, four inch exhaust, five inch exhaust, stock exhaust, whatever it is. Maybe not stock exhaust, because what's the point, right? Because those are so silent now nowadays. So what does this sound like on a V8 gas truck on, and especially a V8 Silverado gas truck? Now, I don't have, an, I don't have necessarily a stock exhaust. I'm running my stock exhaust piping with a cat. And of course, going all the way up to the engine with stock headers and all that kind of stuff. But what I do have on this truck is a Flowmaster Super 40 Series muffler. I've had that for a couple of years now. I probably lengthened the amount of time it, of its life because I continue to paint it and stuff. And you may be saying, well, what, what do you mean? Well, I live in the salt belt here in uh, the Eastern Seaboard. So of course, things like exhaust rust out a lot. But of course, I try to take care of the underneath my truck. I see these great trucks driving down the road, brand new trucks almost, maybe a few years old. But then the underneath of the truck, or the suspension components would be completely trashed out with rust. So it doesn't make sense, man. I'd rather have a completely mint underneath of a truck and terrible paint on the body than great paint on the body and then a terrible underneath. So let's uh, see what we can do with this because of course I have a exhaust tip on the truck, but it is a three to four. This is a five inch inlet. So let's see what we can do. Down here is my exhaust tip that I actually got at a discount store and I painted it black. It came chrome and the paint's holding up great. You just gotta make sure you use high heat paint. But it's honestly really nice. And you guys were saying that the interior of these exhaust tips muffle the sound or make it quieter. I disagree with you. It actually gives it a good rumble and does change the tone and makes it a little bit louder to me, at least because, I mean, you're going from a smaller pipe to a bigger pipe anyway. So, and I also use some gloss paint on there. So it's not that just that regular Rust-Oleum high heat. So it actually does give a good look to it. Anyways, what I'm going to do is see if I can put that exhaust tip on top of this one. You can see how sooty this is compared to the regular black. It's a diesel. Just kidding. So we got some play there for a bigger tip. Let's put that on there like so. Oh my goodness. That is sick. Oh my god. That is sick. V8 gas truck just turned it into a Dirty Max. Oh my goodness. That's so sweet, dude. Here is it from this side. Oh my. You just cover it right there. It's just incredible. Three to an eight inch tip. Three inch pipe to an eight inch tip. That is crazy. That is freaking nuts. Look at that. Oh my goodness. All right, so without further ado, we're gonna do a cold start. I haven't run this truck today at all, so it's actually gonna be pretty loud because whenever I haven't run the truck the whole day, yet yeah, it is actually uh yeah pretty monstrous that doesn't even make any sense all right about to cold start this truck with the eight inch exhaust tip and that's going to sound very crazy because there's also another exhaust tip inside of it here we go v8 silverado
Thanks. And that is the sound of the 8-inch exhaust tip on a V8 Silverado truck. And honestly, that sounded really good. Definitely changes the tone, makes it a lot louder. So I pulled that hose out here, not because I'm going to wash the truck, but because there is a nest of wasps up there. So what I'm going to do is turn this on full blast. And we're going to see if we can get this thing down. All right. This is going to be, uh, this is not going to be good. I can tell you that. <laughs> it's up there right in the corner spot of the house. Currently got it on stream, so this should do it. Fuck. Holy shite. Come on, man. It's too new of a hive, I guess. All right, I'm in the truck bed now. See if we can do it again. Damn it. Thing does not want to come down. Mark my words, I will get you down again. I got you down a long time ago, last, uh, last winter time actually, I was able to get it down. Okay, about to head out with the truck here, the silver rod, and yeah, about to get on the road, let's go. All right, let's start, do a little test here. Perfect, such a satisfying installation. And of course the door didn't fall. So let's start her on up. Oh yeah, and also make sure whenever you get that in to push this because sometimes it needs to adjust, but whatever. All right. And it's in, all right. Oh yeah. I had to run inside to get another GoPro battery because these uh, shenanigans here really kill me, the GoPro batteries. I mean, they're not good at all. They never last. Yeah, I figured I'd just stop on this uh, two-lane road just to take some pictures, you know. There's no one out here anyway, so. Oh my goodness. There she is. Hell yeah. All right, enough of that shice. Back on the road here, about to make the donation. Yeah, that was just me donating the rest of the plastic because I'm just not about it, man. I'm going back to the old days. Wood, ceramic, glass, and stainless steel is the way to go. That's the future. I mean, it's modern anyway, and plastic is dangerous. Oh, come on, man. Stuck by the train again. And we got the candy factory here, actually, so it actually does smell pretty good to be able to just wait here and smell the candy, even though I don't eat that. But this train better hurry, man. And I did cross one of these the other day. If you watched that video, I crossed between two rail cars on foot. And uh, it's uh, it gives you an adrenaline rush. I have looked to see how far, because I'd rather walk the length of the train and walk around it but I was left no choice to get down to the river, so to fish. So that, well, it's kind of dangerous. Well, this is some utter nonsense.